Welcome back to another episode of Brass and Beer. Today we are doing a little bit of a different video. Uh, this one is a little article that I saw on Guns and Ammo magazine. I think they did this some, some time ago, but I'm just now doing a video on it because I thought it was interesting. I just now found it pretty recently, like last week, and I was like, you know what, I gotta do a video on this one. And what it is, uh, basically it's ranked by state what is the best state to own a gun in. So the most gun friendly state. They do rank every single state, all 50. And um, I, I'm i actually surprised about some of them. I'm surprised about my own state. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I'm going to do the uh, five worst states to own a gun in. And then we'll do a top 10. And then I have a bonus for you guys at the end. Uh, other than that, um, let's get started here. So basically, so uh, number 50 comes in at, at New York, which I, I guess I'm slightly surprised. Uh, I always knew New York and, and California were the, I feel like, the worst two states in my head. So, uh, But New York did come in at number 50, so last place, which is great. I just had a friend move there, so it's kind of funny. It's a bummer for him. Um, anyway, so uh, a few reasons it came in was uh, getting a permit in New York is hit or miss. So this is uh, this is what gun, Guns and Ammo said. They said, uh, getting, a New York, uh, getting a permit in New York is hit or miss, and going into the city requires a separate permit and that you apparently have to bribe someone to obtain. Magazines are restricted to 10 rounds. Uh, they tried to restrict them to seven rounds, but that was uh, shot down by the courts. And uh, all NFA items are bans. Um, so no suppressors, thought off shotguns, that kind of stuff. Uh, they said a legitimate gun culture does exist upstate, um, but the like New York pol politics remain dominated by New York City and its suburbs. Uh, 49, Massachusetts. So last year, the Massachusetts Attorney General expanded the state's 1998 assault weapon ban to include an extensive list of previously legal firearms. So that's why they're ranked uh, 49 now. Um, I didn't know Massachusetts was, was this strict. I feel like anything on the East Coast is pretty strict, though. Uh, capacity restriction of 10 rounds uh, in Massachusetts as well. So uh, state number 48, worst uh, is New Jersey again another East Coast state I kind of saw coming basically more things just voted down in the, the gun world in this state the administration implemented a recommendation that better define the need requirement of the garden states may issue CCW law up until now it's virtually impossible for an ordinary citizen to obtain a permit in New Jersey so uh, very hard I, I, I shouldn't be laughing at I guess I'm laughing because I don't live in these states, but it's uh, it's pretty sad. So uh, Hawaii, so Hawaii did come in at number 47. Uh, I Hawaii was just off my radar in in the first place. I didn't realize that. I guess it's kind of weird. I think for for people, I just don't imagine a lot of guns even being in that state in the first place. Uh, but I wouldn't imagine them being a strict state either. So they've taken a step backwards in the CCW department as they have stopped issuing permits altogether. So that's really sad. The, you, know, you can't conceal carry, I guess, in there anymore. So um, The state's May issue standard was already extremely strict, but now a de facto ban is in place. Hawaii has a 10-round limit on magazines as well. Uh, and all NFA firearm firearms and accessories are banned for civilian ownership despite an effort to legalize suppressors during the 2017 uh, legislative session. Uh, the good news is that a strong hunting culture exists in Hawaii with a huntable population of game animals, mostly non-native species such as feral hogs and axis deer. Everywhere from the Big Island all the way down to Mighty Grand Crown, Texas Island. I know I'm a trip. Number 46 is California, and I honestly thought California would be like 49 or 50, so uh, I am just to the north of California, I'm in Oregon, and I uh, don't go there a lot, but when I do go there, I am terrified to take my gun there, just because I'm so nervous. Uh, there's a lot that I don't know about that California has, that I'm nervous that if I maybe get pulled over or something, and I do am carrying a weapon, even if it's not... Concealed carry, maybe it's just in my vehicle or something. I'm, I'm terrified to go there with a gun. So I, I, I unfortunately I choose not to. Gun laws there though, they are getting uh, pretty strict with the CCW. So, um, and I know that the, they had magazine stuff. They're 
trying to do the assault weapon ban, all that stuff. Um, let's see, it says, this is just when you thought the gun laws in California couldn't get any worse. The state implemented one of the strictest black rifle bans in the nation of January. In the nation on January, sorry. Uh, what was a very restrictive state for gun owners to live in has become outright hostile. If you didn't obtain and register your semi-auto rifle before the deadline, which was extended by six months, you became an instant criminal. Magazines containing more than 10 rounds were banned and cannot even be possessed. There's no grandfathering of previously legal mags. Read that again. America. It is one thing to deprive someone of their right to purchase something. It is another thing altogether to make someone a criminal <laughs> overnight. That's really sad. Um, I have some friends that live in California and they showed me their gun collection and it was really sad seeing bullet buttons, uh, special mags to limit them to how much they can carry. Um, just all the weird features that guns have and I'm like, why would a gun even have this? This doesn't make sense. So um, that was 46. So that was the top or the uh, worst five there, 50 to 46 there. So that was the uh, top five worst states to own a gun. Um, now, on to the top 10. And I probably won't read too much about these because we all know that they're good. Um, so Missouri came in at number 10. Nine was Georgia. Uh, eight was Texas. I'm honestly surprised that Texas came in at number eight. I would have thought for sure they were, I would say top three, if not worst case, top five. But there's also a lot of other states like North Dakota that's just not on my radar where they came in at number seven. So uh, number eight though, Texas. Um, it looks like he, uh, the governor, signed a pile of pro-gun bills in Texas this spring, including one that significantly lowers the cost of obtaining or renewing a CHL. That's really neat. So I know some, some of those, in Oregon it's like 70 bucks, I wanna say. Uh, once you actually go to the class, the class costs money, and then once you, uh, it's $70, and then I think every time you renew it, it's like $70 or something. Bring down the cost, that's really awesome that he did that. Um, and that looks like it allows for both concealed and open carry. The state also repealed the minimum caliber restriction that requires CHL because to demonstrate the percentage with at least a 32 cal, 22 shooters rejoice. Best ranges in the nation. If you're a hunter, Texas menu, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so, huh. Texas, uh, yeah, that's cool. Texas is number eight. I, like I said, I thought that they would have been a little bit higher, but hey, you know what? Number eight's good. Uh, seven, North Dakota jumped 10 points in our CCW category this year thanks to the permitless carry law sponsored by my friend, uh, Representative Todd Porter of Mandan. North Dakota gets high scores in nearly every category. That's cool. Yeah, so they're, they're pretty open. Huh. Uh, Utah. So Utah came in at number six. I've always liked Utah. I don't know why. I've heard like good things about that state, so. Uh, but Utah came in at number six, so very, very high on the list. Uh, Utah changed the law this year to allow 18, 18 to 20 year olds to obtain CCW permits, which is really cool because, like I said, in my law, in Oregon, it's 21. So I had to wait till I was 21 to get my um, concealed carry. And they now can do that at 18 to 20, I guess. So that's interesting. Uh, Utah gets full points immediately across the board due to its protections of the right of gun owners. So it just sounds like in that state, they try really hard to appease the gun owners. Number five, Montana. So uh, Montana, I, I knew would be up there. I knew Montana was top 10 at least when I was looking at this list. Um, it was kind of fun to start at 50 and see, like guess like, oh, I haven't seen this one yet. So I bet you it's in this, like right around this time. And I did that and, uh, and I was way off on some of them and some of them I was right on. So. Anyway, so Montana's up there. Number four is Oklahoma, something I, I guess I would have thought top 10. Uh, number three is Kansas. I would have never guessed Kansas top 10. I could see them being like a 20 or 30, but uh, I don't know anything about Kansas, so that's why I missed it so bad. Alaska, number two. Last year, uh, we reported that a campus carry bill was pending before the Alaska legislator. Unfortunately, that bill never made it to the government. So that's really, really good, though, that they're taking that into consideration. I know a lot of states would like just absolutely shoot that down. Uh, sounds like you can trade or like private party gun sales very easily in Alaska as well. And then it said uh, it really is a coin toss for the top spot as Alaska is nearly tied in points for first place. 
If you love the outdoors, Alaska wins. Well, if competitive shooting is your game, then we move on to the number one, which is Arizona. In my personal opinion, I would have never guessed the, that Arizona was the number one state to live in for gun owners. Like, that just blows my mind. Um, it's hard to improve upon Arizona's gun laws, but they seem to make the effort every year. In 2017, Governor Ducey signed legislation into law preventing local governments from enacting background check requirements for gun ownership. So that's pretty crazy. Arizona makes out in every category thanks to its permitless and permitted carry. Uh, very strong self-defense laws, hands-off NFA and black gun policies in an overall hassle landscape for gun owners. The Phoenix area likely has the most active competitive shooting cultures in the nation and they are and there are countless places to shoot in the desert if you're the kind that likes to take long shots. The hunting opportunities are some of the best in the country, though tags can be a challenge to draw. So if you're a sportsman as well as a gun owner, you're in luck. The gap between Arizona and the other states in the top 10 has certainly narrowed in the past few years, but we have no justification for taking the winning slot away from our reigning champion. So that's really neat. Um, I didn't realize that uh, Arizona was such a competitive, like I know that they were um, so big on competitive shooting. So um, that's definitely something that's cool to know. Um, I knew that they had good hunting, like crazy elk down there and stuff. So I knew, I knew a little bit about the hunting, but I'm not super familiar with it. Um, so now on to our bonus, uh, my state, Oregon, where would you guys think that Oregon placed? If you guys have no idea before we go on there, uh, leave it in the comment section down below. I'll give you a second right now to do that. Um, but my gun state, Oregon, where, where would you think that they would place on this list? I told myself, I think I said 20, uh, I want to say 22 or 23, somewhere around in that area is what I originally thought to myself, uh, when I saw this and I was very disappointed. So that helps your guess. Oregon, Oregon comes in at number 34, which is really sad. We're not even halfway. So that's, I mean, I, I know someone has to be on the bottom half, and that's unfortunate that, that the state of Oregon is uh, on that list, on, on the bottom half there. So um, a broad anti-gun bill before the Oregon legislature was de defeated this year, but a bill that raised a serious due process concerns for gun owners made its way to the governor's desk. Oregon requires background checks for private transfers, but, is not, but does not restrict black rifles, NFA items, or magazine capacity. He was hoping that Oregon's gun laws don't creep in the direction of its neighbor to the south, but the state's politics suggests that is a real possibility, which is a huge bummer to me to hear about that. Um, I would probably move from Oregon if we became anything like California, because I hate California. So, um, Oregon, though, it's it's definitely a bummer that uh, that we rank so low. Um, the, I remember when they passed the law for background checks for private transfers. Um, my local sheriff said that he wasn't going to uh, support that law and he wasn't going to pay attention, basically, which I thought was really cool. I don't remember if we have the same sheriff as we did when that whole thing happened. That was back in 20, oh gosh, 2014, I think, 2015, somewhere around in there. And... Um, I just remember him saying like, no, I'm not gonna do it. But the weird part was, and I remember for a while like going on like uh, like private gun sites and stuff like that, and uh, and having, you know, people say, I remember them saying like, we'll meet at um, FFL dealer kind of thing. And I thought that, that was really strange because I mean, the sheriff said that he wasn't uh, going to be really enforcing this law and yeah, it seemed like the people still wanted to follow it, which I was shocked. I mean, I understand you can get some serious question, uh, some serious trouble, but um, if if I were to sell a gun or buy a gun around that time, I don't think I would have. But now everyone does. Now, if you do private party on every ad, it says "Will meet at FFL dealer," blah blah blah, and it just kind of goes on about that. So, um, you know, it's kind of a gray area I guess in Oregon but now for the most part I think everyone is following that law 
uh, which is good because you know if you don't you can get in some serious trouble especially when it comes to gun related so but that's Oregon that's our bonus so thanks for watching guys I appreciate uh, appreciate the watch and uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or uh, want to ask about your state leave it in the comment section down below and I'll and I'll tell you what your state state ranked in our uh, in our list here and last but not least if you like the content Give me a subscribe. It would help me out greatly. And I produce some awesome content. I got some more videos coming out in the next few weeks. And then we're starting a new year, which I'm very excited about because I have some big, huge changes coming to the channel. So other than that, thanks for watching.